Yo, what's up guys? Tura here on Tura Game Vlogs here to bring you Bakuman Season 3, Episode 8 Review. I believe this is Episode 8. Is this Episode 8? Yeah. No. Yeah, it is Episode 8. Okay. I don't know what to say. Um, We're introduced to this new rival and I think uh, Jotango left like a comment on my face but telling me we're getting into an arc that I may or may not like, which I can totally see why. I'm actually looking for the fucking, actually I'm looking for it right now, because I believe his name is Nana Mine, and the problem is, is he, he's introducing this concept of why I listen to the authors, I mean why I listen, not to the authors, why I listen to the editors, and I don't know what to think when uh, the problem is, I mean, he, he's doing all this un, un, unorthodox shit. He's lying to his editors. He has no faith or zero confidence in his area editors, especially the one that he has because he's a new editor, which you could say he's just like uh, Shujin and Psycho in the sense because Miura was new as fuck. Um, and the idea is that he would rather put the faith in his in his fans and his talented fans or like a select group of people he knows online in order to write his story and I'm not and the problem is it's not even that he's doing that but I mean see this is hard like this is literally a hard thing to discuss because the, the way his character set up is that he's supposed to be this character who's challenging the purpose of the editors themselves and what makes them qualified which now brings up the question what the fuck does an editor have to do to become an editor for Shonen Jump slash Shonen Jack. Because technically what he's doing, which is essentially getting criticism from people who are better than him, or people who are just as talented as him, if not more talented, he's getting criticism criticism from them and having them and then fixing his work based on their opinions. But then again, you're doing the same thing when you're doing that when you're talking to your editor. I mean that's what Shooter and Psycho have been doing every time they talk to their editor. Which then brings up the question, what's technically wrong with it? Like, what can an editor do that a fucking, that some talented dude off the internet couldn't do? Like, where's that line drawn? I mean, I think, I don't know if it's going to be some shonen shit where it's like, you got to have faith in your editor and your editor, or like, you got to be able to trust your editor. I mean, yeah, you may not agree with everything your editor says, but at the same time, He's the dude who's been work who works with you on a weekly basis with your series, so it's like, ah, like, I don't know how to address that because it's not like it's a bad thing, but it obviously doesn't feel right to just lie to everybody and to have it's like I mean, because his manga was the whole I reject Shonen Jack thing. Like, Shu didn't even mention it. It's like his manga is saying he rejects everything about Shonen Jack or slash Shonen Jump. And I'm just kind of like, well, it's not like the way you're, you're fixing your manga is right, but it's kind of insulting to other authors because it's not like where Shu and Psycho or, um, uh, or Aoki or Haruma or, uh, Fukuda or Takahama who actually went through the effort of planning everything out for the store. It's like, to me, he's doing what we would call lazy ass, lazy, like, that, that's insulting in terms of an author, because these guys put in the time and effort to think out their stories and write their chapters and shit, and you're doing that, and then, well, no, see, that's the other problem, because I don't know how the, I have to see his entire process to be able to fairly judge it, because he may be doing the same damn things. He may be still doing everything that, you know, Shuji and Psycho are doing, and then the only difference is you're, you're swapping the, 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 the conversation with your editor to your conversation with people online critiquing your work. The problem with this is, is he, like, uploading his shit on, like, a private chat or something? Like, I need more information because the idea itself is interesting, and it kind of makes you question the validity of the editors themselves. Because, you know, Shuji and Saigo have had their issues with the editors before, where it's like, you know, not everything your editor is going to say you're going to agree with, but it's like, 
why is it truly wrong to do it that way than to do it the way Naminé is doing it? Like, why is Naminé's way the wrong way, and why is the editor Ray the right way? That's the problem I'm having. I, I can't... I, I don't know... It's like... It's like I'm, I I know people are gonna say I'm gonna get mad at this, but I can't get mad because I'm not totally sure how I feel about it. Because it's not like it's inherently bad. I mean, when you get critiqued by your work, critiquing is critiquing. The only thing I don't like is his methods. Like when you when you want to when you are trying to get published in a magazine that you have no respect for, that kind of pisses me off. It's like you're mad at these people for trying to help you get published in their magazine. And it's kind of insulting to just fuck them over. Like, that's the part I can inherently not agree with. But his methods in his own manga is the problem. Like, as an artist, can I really say I don't like the way you do your shit? It does seem kind of dickish, but is it wrong? Is it inherently wrong? That's the problem I'm having. I don't know if I want to say what Nominee is doing... Is wrong or not, and that's what's fucking with me. I, I like I know this isn't really much of a review, but it, I mean the the main bulk of the review is this whole nominated situation. I I don't know, I really don't know, and it's it it's bugging the fuck out of me, because I finished the episode and I'm like, you're a dick, but is your method the wrong method, and why is it the wrong method? Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure why the editor's judgment is viewed to be the best just because the editor is. Like, is their qualification for editors is what makes them qualify? Like, could they write good manga given the opportunity? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm very mixed with it. So, I'm not angry. I just got to figure out. I, I need more information for him. I need to see more with this character before I can really fully be... Like, I already know I don't like him as a personality-wise because he's a fucking two-faced motherfucker. But in terms of his, like, way of doing his series, is that's what's bothering me. Because I don't know where to go with that. So, I'm sorry this review is more of me just questioning shit. But please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, in terms of the... just Just, like... In terms of, is this method the right way? Because people do this with other forms of art. You know, you go online, you go on DeviantArt or YouTube or any place you can post your work and you get critiqued and you fix your work accordingly. What's wrong with doing that for writing a weekly series? Except for maybe the time pacing. And that's the problem. Because I'm trying to figure out what, how do you, how does that work? Sorry, this seems kind of weird of a review, but that's that's the main thing I took away from the episode, really. So, vlogs again from your boy Terrell. Keep on drawing, and please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace, all.